Well, hello again, campers. It's time for the Friday in the barn. Once again, I'm in the house, but, you know, it's uh, in the sun out there at the moment. It's at 105 degrees, and uh, my workshop isn't particularly well insulated, so I decided to do this down here so I wouldn't blind everybody with the sweat from my head here. So, you know, I'm really doing you a favour. So, anyway, I've been people have been asking me about playing reeds wet or should I soak the reed before I get it does it help me blow, uh, to blow a reed in um, there are some things times when you should soak a reed or it would help to soak a reed and there's times when you really shouldn't soak a reed so let's start with um, when you should soak a reed uh, sometimes you'll get a reed that comes into your house and Often the mouth side, if you think looking down on the oh, hang on, on the tips of the reed, it, it can go like that sometimes, and it's very hard to get it to go down. So, under those circumstances, um, especially with um, harder cane reeds, it's a good idea to give them a soak before you um, do any adjustments to it. And the only adjustment I would suggest is giving it a good squeeze. Now, if you do it when it's dry, that cane's going to be much more brittle and much more likely to split on you. So um, do yourself a favour, soak the reed first and then give it that, describe that rocking thing, squeeze it just above the staple, give it a little rock and just check the mouth size. Now when it dries out it's going to get slightly smaller. So, you know, if you haven't quite got it right the first time, do it again. It doesn't take long for them to, to dry out. Now that's probably the only consideration I would have for soaking a reed other than um, working with a reed in high altitudes. Uh, the only problem with soaking it and then playing it, especially in conditions like that, it's obviously going to dry out very quickly so you don't want that to happen because the whole sound of it's going to change up there, it's going to get uh, higher pitched and much more shrill. So um, maintaining some sort of moisture on it is, is, is very very important up there. When you're up at that height you need to make the mouth slightly bigger just to bring it down to the right sort of pitch. Uh, so obviously before we were talking about it being too big and wetting it, this time it could be too small, wet it and then you can pinch it open a wee bit and it'll um, make the sort of sound you're looking for. It's all swings and roundabouts, you have to fiddle around with it and fart around and see what you've got and what you don't have and you know, adjust it from there. Trying an hour a lot, a lot of it, but um, there's general principles that you can work with. Like if you make it soaked, again, it's just going to keep drying out and it's going to change pitch. And this is not good, especially in the band situation, because everybody in the band, the idea of tuning a band up is getting everyone together, playing the pipes together, making sure that everyone's playing the same amount of moisture in the bag, which, in which case the reeds will all settle down at the same time together. So if you're trying to get a really good sound out of your band, Everyone needs to have the client same kind of moisture and retain that moisture between blows. So, if you wet it, 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 it doesn't do any good whatsoever. I try to hear. I just uh, get the reed and, uh, and the chanter, put my mouth around it so it's just touching this bit. I'm not getting any saliva on it, but what I'm going to do is blow warm air through it. And if you do this for like 30 seconds, that will warm the reed up. It, the moisture from your breath will impart plenty of moisture for playing the reed and hopefully um, you can maintain that kind of thing once you're in playing in the bag, it'll be nice and warm your warm air is coming through so you're at, you're at um, head start, start rate should we say um, other people have said if you put spittle on it um, it will ruin the fibres of the reed well that's, that's actually not true at all um, cane is uh, kind of celluloid and um, your, your spittle uh, in, in your mouth is um, really breaks down sugars, so it'll have no effect on the on the chance reed whatsoever. The only thing it may do is is if you do this a lot, it's going to cause mold. Mold will grow there, and then that's going to ruin a reed. reed. Um, that's another question, by the way. Um, should I keep the reed moist all the time? I don't see that that's necessary, and if you keep it too moist and you've got it put away, something it's, again, it's going to contain mould. Um, right, here's another thing. If you do cap your, your reed and you find it's going mouldy, 
make sure that you dry the reed out a wee bit before you put it in. You don't want to dry it out completely. It's really hard to gauge, but obviously if you do find it getting mouldy, you're putting it away too, too wet, so just be sensible about it. Some people have wet their reeds to make them easier to play uh, when breaking in, which is, I mean, I don't see the point. If it's too hard to play, scrape the darn thing. I mean, just make it do what you want it to do rather than bending to its will. Uh, make it bend to your will. So there's no need to play anything that doesn't work straight out the gate for you. And if it doesn't, make it work. Cut it around and and uh, make sure that the thing's vibrating efficiently. That's a very big thing about reeds. You can make a, a very easy reed um, put out quite a lot of sound because you've got it vibrating at an official, um, efficient level. So it's going to make more sound with less effort. That's, that's about it. So uh, just bear those things in mind when you're playing a reed and if you will get a new reed. Um, I've got a book out that shows you a lot of the stuff that you can do and it's in pictures. Um, it's, a, it's a really comprehensive book so it's worth a look. Um, I've also got a lot of videos out on YouTube on the um, Apps Reads channel so have a look at those. So I will see you hopefully next week and I wish you all well. Thank you very much.